Hey guys, Mr. Anelli here, and welcome back to episode of Folk of Time 3D Master Quest. In the last episode, we got ourselves the Silver Gauntlets, and we received the very last heart piece. Yeah, that still feels really freaking weird, but I am super, super proud of that. <laughs> but anyway, here we are, back in Spirit Temple, this time as an adult. Alright, so that's the little hole that we went through before, and we can't go that way, so... What I want to do is, first and foremost, pull out our bomb juice. There we go, and now we want to aim for that boulder at the top of the room. That one, way up there. So, let's see if we can do that. Okay, there it goes. Did I get it? Looks like I got it. Yeah, sweet! Awesome! Alright, so before we leave this room, this is really, really, really well hidden. That switch is like practically invisible unless you already know it's there. Uh, I can't remember if it was anything important though. Let's see. A uh, bomb juice! All right, well, now I have a max of 50. They really give you more than enough bomb juice to work with here. Uh, okay, what we wanna do is long shot up there. There we go, pull ourselves up, and with our new shiny silver gauntlets, we can push this gigantic block. Yeah, I have no idea how the silver gauntlets give you, like, massive Superman muscles, but Link will run with it because he is stronger than an ox, clearly. And just saying, once again, I love the silver gauntlets with the Goron tunic. It's so pretty looking. I don't know, just me. That's just Masay being the dork that she is, and I hear that. I hear that. No, sir. Wait, where'd it go? Where, where did it go? Like, seriously. I, I want to kill it so that it won't bother me. Yes, there we go. Aha! I did it. I did it. It's dead. Alright, so with that being done, let's go ahead and get the fire arrows. And now there's a few torches that we can light from here. I think we can get them all from here. I hope so, anyway. There's one there. Uh, I totally missed that one. That one, too. I'm twisted, like, so awkwardly trying to shoot for that one torch because of gyroscope. Uh, there we go. Wait. What? What? Oh. Oh, I, I was too slow. One. And then two. Two. Two, I said. There we go. And then, last one. Come on. Come on, my back hurts. There we go. Aha! That opens up that door, and I used up like half of my magic on that. That kind of sucks. Alright, uh, there we go. Magic. Okay, those are gonna stay lit, but what we wanna do is head through this door. This is the same side as our childhood portion of this dungeon. And now, we can actually hookshot up to this treasure chest. Kick it open, and we get... A small key! Okay. Okay, I'm thinking now. Let's do that. And now we can go back down, and then upskirt shot. Woohoo! Uh, go down. Magic! Alright, so I'm almost full on magic again. And now, with that... Oh, if I remember correctly, this is a pisser. Let's see. This is a pisser. All right. All right. If there is one thing that I really, really freaking hate about this temple, it's that one treasure chest in that room. As you can see, the only way to enter that is as a child. Guess what we have to do again? Yeah, we have to come back as a child to get that one one specific treasure chest, and it's dumb. It's really dumb. Um, we'll do that a little bit later. We're not gonna bother right now, because it's not entirely pressing, but at some point, we are going to be a small key short to do anything else. So, yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna straight up tell you guys that that does contain a small key, because I'm just really impatient with it. Uh, okay, let's get rid of that, and now, up here, let's see. Uh, that is... that is that, um... Hmm. Oh, I see, this didn't go away. 
All right, so we're basically gonna come down here and grab this box and do exactly what we did as a child. And you know something? I have been saying as a child way, way, way too freaking much. I swear, I've probably said that about 20 times this video. Yes, that's probably a really big exaggeration. I'm gonna miss that. Okay, yep, I missed. Well, I botched that pretty badly, but anyway, you know, whenever I say as a child, I can't help but think of this one particular Brookstone, this one particular Brookstone um, demo. It was like some sort of some sort of frame thing where you could have a picture slideshow in it and I was with someone when I went to Brookstone and saw that for the first time and they basically pressed this button where it kept spamming as a child as a child as a child over and over and over again and it drove me freaking nuts and I was about ready to strangle because it was like the most grating thing and now I keep saying as a child as a child as a child over and over and now now it's just like I feel so bitter at myself I'm like I'm doing exactly what was driving me absolutely nuts <laughs> It's like a day in the life of Massey. That could be like story times or something. Anyway, with that being said, it's time to go over here and then up to this door, and now we can head through. Okay, I think I think we're like a couple of rooms away from where we need to go. Okay, okay. Okay, that hurt a little bit, but not enough to really matter. Yes, here we go. This is where I wanted to be. Okay. This is gonna be a pain. Hey, I actually killed it! That's the first time I've actually killed that thing. All right, uh, you know what? I'm going to check these first because I know it's one of these. Um, it's this front one that's a, no, this one. No, it's the one over there. It's this one because each of these blocks do different things and it's really annoying. So what we need to do, we need to pull this over that door please tell me that I can go back through that door guys guys please I don't want to have to go back to the beginning again and like go through all of that can I actually open up that door please tell me that tell me I can let's find out okay so that unlocked a door uh yes all right cool I am relieved I thought I was gonna have to like go through the whole this whole area all over again. That would have been kind of a pain. Oh, that that kind of burned. Okay, back into this room, and now we're done with that. All right, all right. Uh, this is gonna look really immature in just about like five seconds, but I wanna see if this works. It totally does. It totally is still in this version. Oh my God. All right, so, hooky nipples. <laughs> I am so sorry. I am so sorry. But that amuses me so freaking much. It's like, I have no idea why they did that. That serves absolutely no purpose. Absolutely zero. There is no puzzle attached to that. Just for some reason, they felt like putting hookshot targets on the statue's nipples. And I can't explain it. I really can't. I wish I could, but it's really freaking funny, so I'm not gonna complain. Alright, so uh, with that being said, we can either hookshot across to that torch, or we can do this. 
That's right, Pierre can appear here and give us an easy way up to the next area. If he'll just appear. Um, don't make me a liar now. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. I want to check something. Uh, is there anything back here? I see a treasure chest somewhere in this area. Oh, uh, no, I have to do something else to make it appear. All right, uh, okay. Let's try this again. All right, come on. Let's see you do this right. Pierre? Pierre? I know you can- I know you can appear here, you stupid scarecrow! You know, by now, I probably could have just run up the other stairs and hookshot across. That probably would have taken less time, but I want Pierre to appear. There we go, I was standing too far away. That's really weird, though, because Navi was clearly pointing at that area. Um... I hear, I hear a floor master, uh, die. Oh boy, oh boy. Many, many children. Here we go. Uh, that one's locked. I do have a small key, but I don't feel like going in there yet. We want to take care of this bottom one first, because that's more readily available. Um, we'll find out what's up there a little bit. Oh! I lied. Nope, running away. Running away from that, not dealing with that nonsense yet. I lied. All right, I remember. I remember now what this nonsense is. Um, okay, I want to take a look across here. I remember. I remember there being something over there. I want. I want to know. Can you show me? Okay, what I'm gonna do is grab these and now go across. Yes. Okay. Now it's time to do our magic song. Uh, what did that do? Ah, there's the treasure chest I was thinking of. Um, okay, so let's go down here. Um, destroy these boxes, because I don't really need it. Kick this open, and... That was worth it. Completely 100%. And now Pierre is gone again. You know what? Screw that noise. It, this place is just crawling with hands. This place loves its hands. That's really weird to me. Die. Okay, doing it the actually, actually quick way this time. Uh, not going down there. We're going up here because I'm not dealing with that. Uh, there's another one past there. I don't remember how to get that. Uh, we will find out though because I think it might just be hidden. Go, go, go! Yes! Okay, so that does work. Is this a hidden treasure chest? Oh, it is. It is. I just, I just hooked onto it. Uh, let's see. Let's see. I don't want to pull out my lens of truth. Leave me alone. I want to open up the invisible chest. There we go. No lens of truth needed. And it was just a recovery heart. That was completely 100% worth it. Right, guys? All right. So across here and into the door. Uh, I feel danger. Yep. 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 I remember correctly. All right. Across and then through. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Not dealing with that. Uh. Okay, die. That's a small one. That one was actually really small. That was kind of strange. Okay, die. Die. And you die too. Yeah! Bemos genocide. Okay, now that spawns a treasure chest, so those Beemos shouldn't be coming back. I don't believe so, anyway. So we kick this open. We get a bundle of arrows. Okay, I don't understand how this works. I just know the combination for how to do it. What we want to do is play the Song of Time in front of this block. Okay, and then that will move that one over there. And that'll reveal a blue switch. This blue switch needs to be weighted down by a box because that opens up that door. But we do not have a, a box here. So what we want to do is play the Song of Time in this spot twice. Yeah, it's a little bit strange. There's like a box on top of these. On top of these, like somewhere up there, you see it? 
but playing it one more time will shuffle it around so that it actually falls down and we can get it. It's very, sh it's very, very weird. It's a weird puzzle, and this one did take me a while. Um, uh, there it goes. Yeah, it's like up there, and now it's down here. You have to do it in that specific order. Um, okay. There we go. I can take this- Oh, no! There we go. Take this box. Drop it onto this thing. And then, uh, which way did I come in from? Uh, that is where I came in, came in from. Okay, so this is where I want to go. Yes. Here we go. And now, Lizolfos! You guys suck! Eat my blade! And I got nothing for killing them. That kind of sucks. Alright, kick this open. Oh. Freaking! Okay, so booby trap chests is a thing. I think this might be the only one in the game, but what's strange about this chest is that if you strike it with a sword, I have no idea where you're supposed to get the idea to do that, but whatever? Question mark? It's kind of strange, but... Hmm. Uh, oh, no, sir. No, sir. You cannot be allowed to exist. Nor can your children. There it is. Alright, and with that, we can continue on. Go through this door, and... Does this look familiar? It should! We have to fight yet another Iron Knuckle. Alright, so this should not take that long! Oh my god! Okay. Okay. Okay, you guys can see exactly how much damage these guys actually do. Holy crap! Okay, I want... I want a little bit more hearts, please. Good sir. And thing. Oh. Um, no! Die, please. Okay, now it's a little bit faster. You can go. Screw yourself and die. Please. Whoop! Okay. I like how I didn't get hurt when I was fighting this as a child. But somehow, during an adult, during this as an adult, I actually did manage to screw it all up. Alright, so we have the outside world once again. And out here... Magical falling chest! I have no idea where this chest came from. It probably came from her magical hooky boo. I don't know. Something like that, but... Let's go ahead and see what our prize is. We got... The Mirror Shield! The shield's polished surface can reflect light or energy. Press R to use it. Alright, this is what I mean by this is my favorite ensemble. Check this out. Look at this. The silver gauntlets with the little ruby on it. The mirror shield with the silver, the silver middle on it. The red lining and just the red tunic. I love this. Not to mention his boots matching his gloves and the and his hair matching the gold on this particular sword. There is th this outfit is my favorite, 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 favorite outfit in the entire game. I love this. I love this look for Link. It is, it is so just, so hero, so pretty. <laughs> yes, now Link has his own, like, so X, so, so Y. I don't know why I put it in those terms, but whatever. Uh, okay, so. Song of Time here. I am just, I love the mirror shield. I'm so happy that we have this right now, guys. I am so happy. So happy. Okay, so with the mirror shield, we can do, we can kill this guy for one. Uh, please die. Please die. Please die. Thank you. With the mirror shield, we can um, put away the big orange sword because I can't do this with this out. See that? It shines its light. And with that, we can redirect it onto that sun and be on our merry way. And by the way, speaking of which, I forgot to show this. A shield with a polished, gleaming sheen. Its mirrored surface reflects light brilliantly. It's so cool looking! Um, I do want to mention really quick that it was different in the first edition of... Ocarina of Time. It had more of a star and moon look to it. It was the, um, it was, again, changed because of, um, religious reasons. Oh! Nope. Oh, shoot! I forgot that. No. 
should die. Haha! -ha! Yes! Yes! But yeah, just like the fire temple, it was changed because, um, people getting offended and whatnot. Anyway, so, we're gonna open up this treasure chest and we'll get, of course, the boss key! We can now get inside the chamber where the boss lurks. Yeah, so we're moving right on along. We have gotten quite a few things. I am not gonna even bother fighting you guys. You guys can go screw yourselves. All right, so we're in relatively uh, relative safety here. So with that, I think we're gonna call it quits and in the next episode, we get to look at more of Link's prettiness and get through more of the spirit temple. I. We'll see you guys next time. Messina out.